This is the Red and Gold Fan Club from KPIX and CBS News Bay Area. Hello, I'm Matt Lively. Welcome to the Red and Gold Fan Club. NFL playoffs roll on after a well-earned bye week. The Niners are getting ready to host the Green Bay Packers in the divisional round. And just like last week, we want to check in with the 49er faithful. So now we want to introduce you to our panel of super fans joining us from around the Bay Area. Let's start with Joe, who lives in Oakley. Hey, how's it going? My name's Joe Leonor, founder of Niner Empire, with over 150 plus chapters around the world. I pledge my faithfulness to the Niners and their Hall of Famers, for which they stand, one nation under an empire, invincible with five rings and domination overall. Let's go Niners. Oh man, that's awesome, Joe. Thanks so much for joining us. Like you mentioned in your video, you started Niners Empire, and it really is an empire. You've got chapters as far as Mexico, England, even New Zealand. How did this all come about, and, and how did you get this off the ground? You know, it was during um, at the time when MySpace was there, and it was just about <laughs> bringing people together. And I always figured there's one thing that brings people from all different walks of life together, and it's sports. And then just started reaching out to, um, through social media, a couple other people that I knew had clubs. And it was just basically trying to bring them all together because we all had one thing in common. It was just about our love for the Niners. I love it. Now you've got the 49er Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, what would you say is your all-time favorite moment as a Niners fan? You know, it was actually the cool thing when an, um, one of the greatest things is when Jesse Sapulu called me up one time and he goes, <laughs> Joe, I got a surprise for you. And I'm like, what's that? He goes, do you want my locker from Candlestick Park? And I said, Jesse, are you sure it's the right Joe? <laughs> and he goes, get a truck, come down. And so he ended up giving me his locker from Candlestick Park, which had so many memories. And it was just a matter of now I tell everybody I got my coffin already. Oh, that's awesome, man. And you also mentioned honeymoon and your nephew's uh, baptism, the two games that you missed. That's awesome. All right, thanks, Joe. Let's introduce Kirk from San Francisco. What's up, Niner Faithful? I'm Kirk, born and raised in the Bay. And my favorite Niner moment is when Vernon Davis caught the catch in the 2012 divisional round against the Saints. Oh, it was such a great moment in Niner history. And, and Kirk, I love that you mentioned it. What do you remember about watching that play? Oh, man, I was about 14 at the time. And uh, I invited a bunch of my buddies over. And we were watching the game. If you remember, there was, I think, four lead changes in the fourth quarter. And then this one to finally cap it off with almost no time. I just remember running through my house going fuck wild. <laughs> Complete roller coaster of emotions. I was going to say emotional for you, emotional for Davis as well. Uh, you might yeah. not have been, you know, at the height of the Bill Walsh, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice era. So who would you say is your all time favorite 49er? Oh, man, I got to go Patrick Willis. He's definitely the one that got me into it. Just laying hits every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. One of the great linebacker duos that we've seen for the Niners. All right, thanks, Kirk. And not, last but not least, let's meet Geronimo. Geronimo Hernandez. I'm from Visalia, California, Central Valley. I've been a Niner fan since I was seven years old. Just want to give a big shout out to all the 49er faithfuls out there. Let's get this quest for six done. Love it, Geronimo. Most of the fans we meet in the Bay Area, you're repping the red and gold in the Central Valley. What made you become a 49er fan? Well, man, I grew up around nothing but Raider fans, you know, and I just couldn't really understand that silver and black stuff. So, you know, my mom's a Raider fan, sister's a Raider fan, and my dad, he really never watched football. And, you know, I think just one day TV just came on, and, I mean, that was my team. That was who I chose, 49ers. Well, in terms of overall happiness and success, I believe that you made the right decision there. You've probably uh, seen a few more championships. What would you say is your all-time favorite 49ers memory? I'm going to have to go with Kirk on this one. Uh, same thing on the uh, 2011 division around against the Saints. Uh, Vernon Davis caught that touchdown. I mean, I think I was more emotional than he was that day. <laughs> it was crazy. That's just such a great moment. I'm, I'm glad that we've got a couple fans who are like, yeah, that's the one. All right, still ahead here on the Red and Gold Fan Club. Now that we know our panel, time to dig into the matchup. We're going to see what our super fans think about how the Niners can slow down the Red Hot Packers. This is the Red and Gold Fan Club from KPIX and CBS News Bay Area. 
Welcome back to the Red and Gold Fan Club. We've met the super fans. Now it's time to break down the matchup. This is going to be the 10th time that the Niners and Packers have faced each other in the playoffs, more than any other two teams in history. Now the Packers are coming in hot. They crushed the Cowboys last week in the wild card round. Their seventh win in their last nine games. Joe, I want to start with you. What do you think is the key to make sure that the 49ers are not upset in this game? I think if we, number one, we, we're healthy. That's the first thing. Yeah. Number two, um, it's not about Green Bay slowing us down. It's about us slowing ourselves down. I think um, we're, we can be our worst enemy, you know. And if I always feel like Brock Purdy, you know, is the last best quarterback I've seen since Steve Young. Oh, and, high praise. You know, and I, he, he's always on the, he's always right there. He's always making the right decisions. They're not turning the ball over. And if they can not turn the ball over, and if our defensive line can get to Jordan Love, then I'll call it a wrap. All right, I um, like that. I like that. Well, you know, whenever someone has a bye week like the Niners just did, it's always that question, rest versus rust. Do you think the week off helped or hurt the Niners? I think it helped them. You know, they're all professionals. They do this for a living. You know, this is what they live for 24-7. Like, we go to our 8-5 to five jobs. They do this 24-7, and it's in them, and it's what they get paid for. Um, I really don't believe in the rust thing because um, they're doing the same practice. They're practicing, they're studying, and they're professionals. All right, thanks, Joe. Same question over, you do, over to you, Kirk. Any concern about the bye week and whether or not the Niners will come out a little bit flat? I'm not too concerned. Um, like Joe said, these guys are professionals. Uh, I think – you know, this team has to get rested after a long 17-game season. Um, and I, I don't really think it's going to be an issue. Um, I think as long as, you know, they just establish a rhythm early through the run, I think that's going to be what matters most. I was going to ask you, what's your one big key to the game? So it sounds like the, the run game and establishing that. Absolutely. Establish the run, keep control of the ball, um, stay on top of the time of possession and, and no turnovers. And I think the, the Niners have shown that that's how you win games. Yeah, absolutely. The Green Bay defense, a little bit weak, could be something to target. So let's get over to you, Geronimo. What is your key or maybe a matchup or a player that you're looking at for this game to be the difference maker? Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking Kittle's going to be the, the difference maker in this one. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's time for him to, you know, to shine, you know, for him to – you know, he's always doing doing the right in the playoffs all the time. Whenever you hear about playoffs, you know, George Kittle, he's always been on the show all the time. Um, you know, I really want to see the run, uh, the run game keep going, you know, the way how they did it in, and how they did it in 2019. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, run the ball, you know, don't overdo it. But, uh, yeah, I think I think we'll be fine, though. I could ask you I about could. the rest thing that we've been talking about. But I, you mentioned Kittle, so I want to ask this. We've mentioned the Davis catch years ago. Do you think George Kittle could have a similar catch, or do you think this thing won't be even close enough to have to have an emotional moment like that? Oh, that'd be nice to see the catch for, you know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I feel like uh, the rest, uh, the the bye week and getting the rest for, uh, for all the guys and everything, I think that's going to be the number one key, and everyone's rested, everyone's ready to go, everyone's ready to fight. Um, I... I I'm thinking it's going to be a blowout, but, you know, that's my team. You know, what, what more can I say? But, yeah. All right. Maybe a reverse uh, Packers on Cowboys action. The Niners blowing out the Packers this week. All right. When we come back, time to put our metaphor metaphorical helmets on. Buckle up the chin straps. We're going to ask our super fans how they would pump up the locker room ahead of Saturday's showdown. Don't go anywhere. This is the Red and Gold Fan Club from KPIX and CBS News Bay Area. Before we challenge our panel of super fans to give their best pregame speeches, we want to take a quick trip to Levi Stadium. Our Lori and Ayub caught up with some other members of the faithful who wanted to make sure they're all geared up before the start of this year's playoff run. The excitement is growing here at Levi Stadium as the 49ers prepare to take on their longtime rival, the Green Bay Packers. Now, I spoke with some very dedicated super fans who are gearing up from head to toe. When it comes to passion for your city, you could never have enough. At least that's what Carlos Vargas believes. The longtime 49er fan and San Francisco native 
headed over to the team store to snatch up some gear for this Saturday's game. And I came here to purchase some, some, uh, some new Niner gear so that uh, we could uh, win in style. Carlos is no stranger to 49er moments. He recalls the glory days with Joe Montana and wants to provide those memories for his family. That's why he's shopping around to purchase them some gifts. I grew up in the, in the Mission District in San Francisco, so all my friends, we've always been Niner fans as long as I could remember. I've never rooted for any other team, uh, but not growing up without a father figure, I want to give my kids what I never had, which is pass on the faithfulness of being a 49er fan. As folks like Carlos and many more fans prepare to watch the game, the NFL is coordinating watch parties all over the Bay Area. Nick Clark, the senior manager of NFL Engagement, is making sure they're all worthwhile. If you're at home thinking, you know what, I need more, more energy to watch this big game against the Green Bay Packers, let me head down to one of these watch parties. You can find out more information at 49ers.com slash playoffs. As for Carlos, he will be watching alongside his family and believes... My prediction is um, I'm going to have cheesecake for dessert. So I think we're going to send the cheese heads packing, unfortunately. They are a good team, but they're not the 49ers. According to Carlos and his passion for the Bay, win or lose, the Niners will always be champions. Now, the 49ers are favored to win, but with the Packers' most recent momentum, we'll just have to wait and see. As a reminder, kickoff 515 Saturday. Up next, our super fans try to channel their inner Bill Walsh or Kyle Shanahan. We'll be right back with more from the Red and Gold Fan Club. This is the Red and Gold Fan Club from KPIX and CBS News Bay Area. Welcome back to the show. Want to end with something a little fun, maybe channel our inner Bill Washes. So I, I want to ask each of you, pretend you're in the locker room Saturday, pumping up the Niners before they take the field at Levi's Stadium. I want to hear your pregame speech. So once again, Joe, we will start with you. How are you addressing the San Francisco 49ers? Here we go, game face. <laughs> hey, fellas, check this out. We've been let down a couple of years. Um, if you guys want to ever touch one of these, oh. if you guys ever want to get one of these, you better work your butts off. We got thousands and thousands of people around the world watching us and cheering for us. So if we make a bad play, pick your head back up. Let's get right back into it. And remember, Quest for Six, and let's do this. This is one step closer to what, where we want to be. You know, we're going to take one game at a time, and we're going to do this. Let's go. Joe comes prepared with the hardware. I did not expect him to have both a Lombardi Trophy and Super Bowl ring just like readily available. All right. You got to one up this now, Kirk. Well, come on. Let's hear it. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, you know, I'd say let's, uh, let's keep our eyes on this week. You know, we've seen this stage before. Uh, we've been here. We've been to a Super Bowl. We know we've got the game plan. We know we've got the intensity. We just got to go out there and execute. All right. I like I feel like we've heard from the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Geronimo, <laughs> bring us home, man. Let's hear it. You know, there's a saying here, you know, in the building, uh, you know, champions behave like champions before they are champions. And, uh, you know, this is a uh, 60 minutes of football. And to prove to everyone around the world that, hey, we could be that team. We could be that Super Bowl champion team. And, uh, you know, the quest for six, this is a uh, the quest for six is a uh, ready to get marked off, you know, and we need it. Everyone else needs it. The faithful needs it. And, uh, yeah. All right. I love it. We've got a copy of this. I'm going to send it to Kyle Shanahan and say just, I don't know, maybe Friday night hotel, put this on for the players, get them pumped up. All right. Thanks to all of our super fans for joining us on this edition of the Red and Gold Fan Club. We hope to check in throughout the playoffs. And, of course, we'll have plenty of coverage on KPIX in CBS News Bay Area.